In the left hand, I'm going to be trading with the right hand. So that way I can reload that right hand quickly if I need to, to get her instead of, a lot of dogs will sit right away when they see food. So if we're doing sit down stands, that's not exactly what I want her to do. So I have to get it in there before she goes, oh, I need to sit. Because I want to be able to move on to the next thing. So you can do these in, in any order that you like. When you're doing, look, she's already sitting. So we're going to either do a down or a stand. I'll do a stand. So I'm going to take the food, have it in the palm of my hand. I'm going to keep my hand kind of flat. I'm going to put my thumb right on it. That's going to face her. So I'm going to pull forward and drop my hand probably about an inch and say stand when her feet are all standing. See how quickly she sits? So I do a stand. I'm going to do a down. I'm going to flip that over, go straight down, and I give her that one. And I say down when her elbows hit. So we're going to do a sit. So I'm going to lift up and say sit when she's actually sitting. Give she's so fast. Okay, we're gonna do a down. So I'm gonna get it on her nose, act like that's a magnet. I wanna keep her licking because it's really new to her. So I'm gonna keep her licking. I'm gonna have my palm face the ground. I'm gonna go between her paws. And if I needed to, I would draw slightly forward like that and make an L. But she's really good at it. She just learned this a couple minutes ago, but she's got it already. So if I want to do a sit from a down, I'm going to do palm up and lift up and say sit. I'm going to try and stand again. Okay, I'm going to draw forward slightly down to keep her standing. If I lift up, she's going to sit. So when you're doing a stand, you have to draw, draw forward and then drop a little bit. I'll give her that one. Oops, and you got to free me. There you go, we're going to do it down. So I'm going to push into her just a little bit. My trajectory, my palm should be down. Down, good girl. My trajectory is like this. Right like that. So it's kind of angled in towards her feet is where I'm aiming for. Okay, so to get her off of it, you're going to pretend it's there. She's pretty good. We'll see if she'll do it. Well, I'll pretend I put one there. We're going to do a stand. Stand. It's not there, but then I'm going to put one there and she still gets one. So eventually to get her completely off when she really knows those hand signals, good sit. Then I'm going to just randomize it. So I'm going to try not to put, we'll do it down. Down, good girl. She sees it's not there and she still gets one. Because eventually you'll get off because she's not going to follow your hand anymore. She's going to follow the signals. And she knows, well, I'll still get one. And you're going to keep that up for about a week or so. And then you start to randomize. If she did it super fast, you would give her one. Or if there was a distraction, you could give her one. But she wouldn't get every time. Good girl. Good girl.